But Pearson realizes he is this woman's only hope for survival. He goes. I crawled under to check on her, and she wasn't talking, and I couldn't tell if she was breathing. I couldn't get in close enough to her, but she wasn't moaning or saying anything. Pearson sadly realizes she is dead. This is one person he won't have the chance to save. Hearing no further calls for help, Pearson returns to the courtyard and begins trying to break out of the building. We found a space between a couple of the buildings that had crushed together, about three or four feet in diameter. This guy that was with me got out that way, and he took off down the alleyway. Rescuers finally find them more than two hours after the quake. Ironically, the damage to Northridge Meadows had been so severe, it was imperceptible. The front facing the street had fallen so perfectly straight down and right on to the second story bottom level that it looked like a two-story apartment complex. Nobody knew it was a third story. Sixteen people lost their lives in the complex, though perhaps